Hey guys, it's Jess McCraney. I'm back again, probably gonna fish. Now that I've kind of informed myself about y'all, or of course informed y'all about me, uh, I'm probably gonna try and start doing a little bit of challenges. Uh, probably start going uh, more places. Uh, I just bought a new kayak, so I might start um, <coughs> using it some in some of my videos. I'm also trying to get into fly rodding, so I could be using that potentially in some of the next few videos. Uh, I thank everybody who's watching or may see this in the next few years because I'm really going to stick to YouTube. I really, I really love being able to have my own content and be able to say I own this without just being the only one who does it but still being the only one who does what I do myself. Um, today, in this video, I'm gonna be using the same uh, reel and rod as last time, because it's basically, or I mean, it's my first bait caster, so it's obviously my only one. It's, if you haven't seen the last video, a Quantum Pulse, size 100, five bearing. I've got a 12 pound uh, mono on it. I'm gonna be using a little uh, Yozuri uh, uh, diving bait I got. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this will catch anything. I actually fished a little bit right before I started this video and had a hit on this. Got him all the way to the bank and he got off. It was about a half a pound bass probably, but it's burning nothing. Um, I also, hold up. Okay, boys. I also brought a finesse rod today. It's my only one. It's not, it's, it's pretty crappy if I say it. But I really don't, uh, I don't take in a lot of, uh, I don't really use my finesse rod much. I probably will throughout the next couple years. I'll probably start realizing. But all I have here is a little Shakespeare. It's a GX235. It's right there. It's a little Shakespeare. I've got about 14 pound braid on it just so I can use this wacky rig and get it up in them uh, corners where all that moss is and uh, all them branches. So uh, I can just rip right through it if I set the hook. Uh, this is basically my setup today. Uh, and I'll see you guys whenever I start getting them, I guess. All right guys, so I'm just standing here. I turn around and there's an armadillo. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, those things look so ugly. You see this thing? Look at him. Hold up. Please tell me you see that. I don't know if you can see it. There he is. That's the thumbnail right there, Daddy. All right, boys, I got her on camera. Oh, there she is. Where you at, bro? Get your bubble gum. Dumb on them, dumb. People can hit it. Try and scare it. Or spook it. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Oh, yeah. That's some skill right there, Daddy. Oh, yeah. She got some skill on her. She, oh, yeah. She's thick. She is. Ah! It's a stump, guys. Look. That stump right there. Oh, yeah. That's their technique. They literally hide, ball up, and act like stumps. Look how ugly it is. My gosh. Yo, like this, this is gonna be so cool. Watch this. I'm about to do something to it. Oh, she's thick. Look at oh my gosh, she's so thick, boys. Like so thick. What should I do to it? I wanna do something to it. Also, armadillo is very invasive, so don't worry about this little fella. This rock right here definitely will not kill it at all. Hopefully there's not a snake under here though. Alright boys, aim at the armadillo. I still can't see you obviously, like you're so hidden. She gone! Alright boys, well now that <clears throat> she gone, let's start fishing a little more. I actually moved banks. I'm actually on the... Uh, one right beside the one I was just last on. Uh, I saw a fish busting over here, so I reckon that would come over here. I can still hear the armadillo moving over there. Look at these ugly birds. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Should be one. 
dead in the outdoor. Water has actually got lower compared to the last time I was over here. This weather was basically where you guys are sitting right now. And uh, that'll show you right there. She, she's on, like she's over. Oh, come on now. Give me something. Content. Well, now they got an armadillo on videos. I think I might have some good content. Uh, probably shouldn't have hit it with a rock. That might be called in for animal abuse, I'm not sure. And I just put my diving bait in a freaking tree. And, uh, where's she at? Where's she at? That, oh, crap. Oh, God. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. My, na my name is Jeff, and I, I'm speckle. Leave me alone. Oh, my gosh. It's so freaking steamy out here. Uh, I could burn my butt cheek off right now. That's what's thing it is. Oh, look at the turtles. I want to catch them. Boom. Ah. That hurt. I've cleared out a couple places on the banks with uh, my machete. And my dad actually came the other day and sprayed them. They should be dying down. Any, anywho now. Oh. Good God, bro! Come on, that was yeah, that was right on the head. Oh, how did it? How did it? Okay, we're talking about that. Yeah. Oh my God! You're kidding me! Another? Oh no, that one was a win. Okay, but that first one was a hit. I wonder if all the time is jerk base. I got a good jerk bait. It really does work. Like compared to the last one I posted, whenever the first video I ever made, it works a lot better than it. Just because I don't know, I think the bass in here like it a little bit longer. The oh god, uh, PG. They like the 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 jerk baits longer. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's because the minnows in here are a lot bigger than the one I threw. That little fake brown trout. So. Uh, I think it kind of resembles more of the minnows or shad in my pond. I just want a fish to bite. Jeez, not that thick today, boys. Imagine getting demonetized with one subscriber. Right. Oh, I had shit. I was not thinking. Oh my! No! You freaking bugger, dugger, dugger, mick chugger, wugger, slugger, big bugger, bugger, bugger. Oh, I'm sad now. She spat me out, boys. She gone. Alright, well, that's the end of that fish. He ain't biting no more. Probably. I don't know. I'll, th I'll try and throw maybe one or two more times up there. Got a girl from the south side. Got gays in her hair. First time I seen her walk by, a man about fell up out of her chair. Gotta get her number. It took me like 69 weeks. Jordan Jinx hears this song and she freaks. Busting over here. Bastard's got a beer. He's gonna hit my diamond bather. I'm dead. If he don't, then I'll be sad. It looks like a shad. Better subscribe or you'll get real mad. Now I'm out of breath, probably gonna get death. Probably when I'm 80, gonna make it 81. Probably will fish till then. God, it hit, she gone. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. The singing works, boys. That's another thing I really do I suggest you do is try and sing while you fish. It really takes your mind off the focus of the fish. So when they bite it, you don't know. <laughs> It's so funny. That's just so funny. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Like, I'm actually dying right now of laughter. Why is the... Oh my gosh. The... That wasn't a... The armadillo's in the water. That's not busting. The armadillo fell on that fish's bed. That's just sad. I think it drowned, bro. No. Oh, yeah. There's a murder scene in my pond. This is great. Great content. No be even better content. <laughs> be catching the fish for once. 
is she gone, my dude? All right, this is it, bro. It's right on the bed. If I don't hit one here, I'm going to the honey hole. I got fart. By the way, my honey hole is right beside these, so it's literally a honey hole. Gotta go from the south side. Got braids in here. First time I've seen a walk by. She was sitting on top of it. Gotta get her. One bird took me like 69 weeks. She got a brand new bait caster. It's a carbon pulse. But it was $69 all online shipping and handling. It got there in two days on Amazon, but on Bass Pro Order, it was not even ordered that year. It was just sitting like five years later. Right on the stuff from Bass Pro. They make you waste your money and they call you a hook. Because they're a garden tool and I'm actually a shovel. But they like to call me a rake or a hoe or the double. Don't even know what that means. Probably is something dirty. Like my pond right now. Can't even see a foot. Cause it's dirty and the fish be pooping. You know that I can't catch things with this diving scooping. Ain't got no lip. Gonna get hung up. That's a fish turd on the end of my hook. That's kind of demonetizing. Makes me want to sit down and watch the horizon. I just touched that. Oh my God, that's so freaking weird. Get the first turd on my hook. Gonna make me cry. Get the freak off or armadillo dies. It kind of smells bad, but I don't really care. <laughs> Cause that girl rode by on her downtown bear. Now I'm gonna leave this bank. Bye. Right, boys, I'm gonna start using the wacky rig over here by all these beds. So this is my honey hole. Um, hopefully, probably should catch something. Let's go. Also, I'm outside bees, and I just tried to get one for all of them. Start ganging up on me, probably. And that's not gonna be fun. It's stung by a 47 bee on camera, where everybody can see me dying. I don't know. How I think about it. Kind of sounds like something, but is she tight yet? Boy, what the heck is that? Five forty. Oh, damn! My camera is on. I can see bass right here. Yeah, see bass. Yeah. All right, boys. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna throw it over here. Get my lure stuck. Get mad, fart, pee, get stoned by 20 bees, and then leave. This is going to be the longest video ever. Riding like a fart hole. Driving with my big wolf. She gonna get mad if I hit her again. I don't know why the, these boats. Well, that's a snake. That's probably weird. I hope he eats snake. Oh my gosh. We got busting boys. Oh. Yeah. Was this worth 30 minutes? Oh, er, was this worth the 30 minute video, boys? I don't think so, you big fat hole. That's a thick hole right there, oh my gosh. Oh, that's perfect. Let it go, let it get on my A literal minnow just tried to attack my freaking wacky rig. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen happen. It like a more large mouth bass going in there, he looked like, Oh, that's a beast. Well, I don't want none of you. Now get your stinging looking head out of here, boy. I have a dragonfly that eats you. Ah! No, don't come over here. Yep. I 
this one freaking big. Like, I'm gonna literally make this like a 50 video for one 50 minute video just to show you how hard it is to catch a fish in my pond. Like, it is so hard. Like, we have no fish in here, I swear. Well, I mean, I can't say that because there's literally fish busted out the side of me. I can't hook one. Because they're all too small. I mean, they're all 20 pounds and know too much about worms. And... Oh! Snackerdoo! Never mind! Oh, she's thick. Oh, she's thick. I should be like a half pound. Boys, we done got her. She gone, baby. Fish number one, after like 40 minute video, saw like, saw, I was starting on that bank. I saw an armadillo. This one, armadillo drowned after hitting the armadillo with a rock. Now I call fish while being attacked by a bee. Oh, I haven't been bit by a bass in so long. I'm so happy right now. I'm probably gonna have to eat the pies. There we go, boys, finally. First fish on video. Bent my drop shot, I'm pretty sure. Don't ask why I'm using a drop shot I'm like you're I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but she works, so. I will actually be returning this fish because she is more than likely pregnant. Uh. She don't look pregnant, but they're bedding, so probably pretty soon. Got a nice little fish right here. Nice little, mm, say about maybe one half, two pound bass. Maybe. Barely that. Right, I'll see you later, baby. I'm a fish kisser. I'll, I'll get a little tongue in. If it, oh, no. I'm not afraid. Who would this guy, right? You guys are so weird. I'm recording myself. Gracefully put this thing down. Because like, I'm so happy. This, this just one little clip. It's five minutes of me just standing here trying to catch a freaking bass. All right, boys. Is this graceful or what, my dude? Bye. Okay, boys, well, I was about to set you guys back up. I probably threw 30 times right there in that one spot. Like I was saying, probably threw 30 times in one spot, then threw once over there and catch a fish. Like, what do you mean, brother? Ah, I hooked myself. This ain't good. It literally ripped my freaking wacky rig in half. We using it though. I don't care. I feel like I'm gonna tackle box. Right All right, flip this bait and catch me another one. She been the hell on that boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, she. Is she thick, my dude? Or is she thick? Bro, I've been farting like the last 30 minutes. You just guys, like, you guys just haven't seen it. That's a fish. That's the sound of a fish being raped in the booty hole, daddy. I don't want to go over there, kind of, but since I'm, I'm going to stay over here because I know I'll catch another one if I stay over here and try. It's actually my first fish of the year. My first bass. Now that I think about it. It's just kind of sad seeing this. But now that I think about it. Now that I think about it. Just the other day, my first video, which is a day ago, or two days ago, was uh, my first time fishing this year, so. Of 2019 at least. It's actually my first time using a bait caster, too. I, or owning a bait caster. Using one I own. Also, I have a kayak. I don't know what kind coming in. Um, my dad actually ordered it for me, and it's a surprise. But there's an email sent to my phone about it because he put my phone number in for like if it ever got stolen or anything like that, a verification. But he put his credit card in. Okay. Well, uh, and it sent me an email that it was in Macon today, so it should be. Oh, here tomorrow, it's gonna be delivered to Walmart and we're gonna go pick it up from there. So possible kayak videos in the future. Possible getting my wacky rig stuck 20 more times. Can't see, probably gonna get bit by water monster. Do I care? No, because I call the bass. Oh, she nodded up too, daddy. She is a thick knot. A uh, bee just flew in my ear and I thumped it. I was gonna yell to a friend who snitched on me. Y'all gonna jump me, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. 
freaking low. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that was a lot more. You throw him. You don't get off, bro. I swear to God. Yeet. Yeet. Uh, I need you, Dad. I need you to get off. That's accomplishment right there. That's a 20 pounder, probably. Maybe 30. Push it. I know that. Dang, this thing ate my freaking wacky rig. It literally, look, it cut my wacky rig in half. Okay, well, I'm going to put on another wacky rig, go over here to my other honey hole, and we're going to hit up it and see if we can't catch us a little bit of a, a bigger one, maybe. I'm actually going to throw my diving bait over here a little bit, though, because I kind of want to see if uh, I can catch something on it. I've actually never caught anything on something right here besides a wacky rig, but, yeah. Like I was talking about, though, my kayak should be here. Uh, probably around tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what color it is. I don't know how long it is. I'm hoping maybe a green and around a 10 to 8 foot. Probably an 8 foot just so I can have a little bit more durability on it. But 10 foot would be good too because I could also row into it. So, I mean, I'll, I'm probably doing one. My, there's no way my dad ordered one that was over 10 or under 8. He's just not that. I mean, he, I don't know. My dad's kind of... Oh, I don't know. My dad's just funny. Let me say that. Yeah. Yeah, I begged him to tell me. He would not tell me. Had it hit. First time. See, that's what you don't want to do, guys. You don't want to hold the slack while you have your thumb on the spool. Because that will cause a leaf to eat your lure entirely. And then your, your, your lure will never work again. It's crazy. Lost many, many lures doing that. You know what they say? No lure left the Ow, frick, line behind. No lure left the line. Here's a great story about yesterday. I wasn't recording because I, I only record every other day. Like, I'll only be recording every like other day. Like I'll record one day, skip a day. And yesterday, I wanted to record, I was out here fishing, trying my fly rod, trying to learn how to do it. And next thing I know, a freaking mushroom falls off a tree. Like, I don't know how mushrooms get on trees, but it falls off and explodes in the water. And I thought it was a freaking fish giving birth. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, it literally looked like a fish. Because it was on top of the bed. Crazy, dude. Like, like, it's crazy. Okay, boys. Well, that's probably my last cast. One more after this. I'm going to let you guys go. The video is already way too long, excessively too long. Uh, caught, spent 40 minutes trying to catch one fish, though. So. <laughs> Scratch that off my bucket list, finally. Maybe not my last cast. Fish is busting right here. Alright, no, you, no, Mr. Yozer. Get off that freaking. Thick. I'm playing. Okay, guys. I'll let y'all go. Uh, I hope you learn literally nothing throughout this video. I hope you literally take no advice I've given you. I hope you never make an armadillo drown like I did. And see you in the next one.